good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. In 2021, 90,000 people visited Akhtamar Island in Western Armenia. Armenia and the USA celebrate the 13th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations. After Kazakhstan, in Turkey too, everything has suddenly flared up. Opinion of Turkologist Safrat and about the upcoming negotiations. In Sunik, people live in uncertainty the number one problem is to ensure a safe environment. Another life of Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan adopted Christianity 313 BC. Sevan Nishanyan will be released. The court ordered him to leave Greece voluntarily. Cairo International Biennale for Children's Art. In 2021, 19,000 people visited Akhtamar Island on Lake Van in Western Armenia. Thousands of local and foreign tourists visit Akhtamar Island every year, including descendants of Armenia, who forcibly relocated from Western Armenia due to the genocide of Armenian people. These visits give the deported Armenians an opportunity to get to know their historical homeland more closely. Akhtamar Island and the historical Armenian Church of St. Hajj built there was closed to visitors for some time in 2020 due to the epidemic. Nevertheless, by 2020, up to the 65,000 people have visited. If there are no restrictions due to the epidemic, then by 2022 there will be an increase in visitors. The Republic of Armenia and the United States of America celebrated the 13th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations on January 7. The Minister of Foreign Affairs of Armenia announced this on Twitter, noting that the Armenian-American bilateral diplomatic relations were established in 1992, January 7. Since 1992, Armenia and the United States have developed a strong partnership based on the common values of democracy, respect for human rights and the rule of law. The Armenian Foreign Minister said congratulating both sides on the important anniversary. The acute crisis in Kazakhstan, its intimated culmination associated with the deployment of CSTO armed forces in this country, which according to the charter can only act in case of aggression or attack, increased the tension in both worlds among politicians and in the expert community. President of Kazakhstan, Kasim Jomar Tokayev, calling the protesters a gang of international terrorists, applied to CSTO for help. Although many understood that the external trigger of Kazakh unrest masks more, the increase in engraving socio-economic problems technical and politically unsuccessful transit of power from Nazarbayev to Tokayev, etc. Read the full article on our official website. According to Turkologist Ruben Safradyan, the first Armenian-Turkish meeting is more likely to be introductory and there is no need to have high expectations. According to him, Turkish position on Armenia has not changed. The three well-known preconditions of Ankara will be presented to the talks again. Armenia must reaffirm its commitment to 1921, recognize the current borders of Armenia and Turkey in the Kars Treaty, renounce the pursuit of policy of international recognition of the genocide against Armenians and Artsakh. To all this, according to Turkologist the force requirement has joined. The issue of the so-called Zangezer Corridor, regardless of Turkey's agenda. Armenia should strive to promote the agenda. This is the beginning of the process of Turkey's recognition of the genocide of Armenian people. Safradian is sure. The Minsk Group co-chair recognized the genocide. I think our diplomacy should try to ensure the circumstance. I had to cooperate with these three countries so that I put pressure on Turkey. After the 44-day war, a number of villages of Sunik become border villages, part of Goris Kapan Highway. Having passed the Azerbaijan, the Sunik region faced numerous challenges. The number one task, of course, is to ensure a safe environment. In the areas of contact with Azerbaijan armed forces, the right of residents to a peaceful and safe life, as well as to free movement, is being threatened, very often violated. After passing Kapan, Chakat then wrote, under the control of Azerbaijan armed forces, our compatriots at the front, Zavas, Rashen, Nerkin, Hand, are forced to walk 150 kilometers instead of 6 kilometers to get to Kapan. Given that alternative road is still under construction, said Anna Grigorian, deputy of the Armenian faction. Azerbaijan Consul General in Los Angeles Nazimi Agaev made a post on his Twitter microblog in honor of Christmas. Consul Agaev claims that Azerbaijan has an old Christian heritage. As proof of his words, he used photographs of ancient Armenian temples in Artsakh. This Christmas Day, let's look at these beautiful paintings of the ancient Azerbaijan Christian heritage. Christianity arrived in Azerbaijan in the first century, becoming the state religion in 313 BC. Today, hundreds of thousands of Christians live in peace and freely profess in Azerbaijan. He wrote, 
Road. Nazimagas College contains photographs of 9th century Dadivank Armenia Monastery Complex after the 44-day war which came under the control of Azerbaijan. The 10th century Gandasar Armenia Monastery Complex, Martaket region of Republic of Artsakh. The early medieval Tizernavank Armenia Monastery in Kashatakh region after the 44-day war came under the control of Azerbaijan and the 12th century St. Yerushet Church, Kish village. The Serious Administrative Court has published a decision, according to which Sevan Nishanyan will be released on January 7. According to the decision, he is obliged to leave Greece voluntarily within 15 days. Since Sevan Nishanyan is an Armenian citizen, he can travel to Armenia if he wishes, the Armenian embassy in Greece said in a statement. Istanbul linguist of Armenian origin Sevan Nishanyan, sentenced in 2014 to 17 years in prison in Turkey, escaped from prison on July 14, 2017. On July 25, 2017, Nishanyan announced that he had applied for shelter to Greek authorities. At that time, the Turkish press wrote that the arrest of Sevan Nishanyan was a case by authorities, since the intellectual repeatedly publicly criticized the gap in the Turkish government. The Minister of Culture of Arab Republic of Egypt, together with the non-governmental organization Amesa Africa and Middle East for Education through Art, is holding an event, Cairo International Biennale for Children's Art, entitled A Picture from My Country. Children aged 4 to 18 can participate, as well as all children under the age of 18, with special needs. The works are accepted until 2022. Now the musical part, Kes Hamar Hayastan, the song written in 1988. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.